what's good this is trey with vertical jump prime coming to you with a video on how to be the go-to guy on your basketball team all right so i'm gonna give you some tips you know um just some things you can do in order to establish yourself as the go-to guy on your team um the first thing is you have to believe um that you're the go-to guy so it has to start from inside you have to actually um Prove to yourself or, you know, establish an understanding of being the go-to guy. So it's kind of hard to fake, you know, being that guy. So you have to um, make it a reality. So you have to do the things that a go-to guy does. So you have to start being more assertive in your life, more goal orientated. You have to get more serious about your life. OK, so it becomes natural. All right. If you if you're a lazy guy that doesn't care about anything, you know, you just go around, you know, just BSing your way through the day. And then when you get on the basketball court, you expect yourself to all of a sudden become this, you know, serious, disciplined go to guy, you know, the guy that leader. You know, what I'm saying it's not going to happen. You have to actually live that lifestyle. You have to start um, portraying yourself or, or just living, um, you know. A disciplined lifestyle you know that a go-to guy would live okay so for example you could look at some of these top players these leaders you know the kobe bryant's the james hardens uh lebron james stephen curry they all um handle themselves in a certain way all right they have certain disciplines that they do to keep their minds um stay mentally tough mentally sharp as well as physically tough and physically sharp so um you know, whether it's reading books, you know, it's no, some people don't like to read books, but reading books is it's a discipline. First of all, you know, nobody, most people don't want to sit down and read a book, but it, it requires a certain amount of discipline to sit down, read a book, increase your knowledge, um, increase your wits. Um, you'll, you'll, you know, have a better vocabulary, be able to express yourself better. Um, you know, watching videos, watching players, you know, just trying to emulate what they do on the court um learning from your elders learning from more experienced people um, um applying yourself so you know having a disciplined routine every day you know let's say you wake up at eight o'clock or seven o'clock every morning you have a routine that you go through you stay you stay uh committed to that routine you have a basketball workout plan that you're doing you stay consistent with that um all right, so basically it comes down to seeing yourself as a go-to guy. So you have to do whatever you, you need to do, whatever it takes to um, allow yourself to actually see and believe that you can be the go-to guy. Um, so you need to have high self-belief, high self-esteem. This comes from success. So you need to be um, building upon little successes every day. All right, what I like to do is I like to have a... Um, I have like a little notepad and I have out my goals or my tasks for the day. Every time I complete a task or a goal, I cross it off. So this what this does is in my mind, it tells me that I'm successful. I'm doing what I say I'm going to do. Therefore, it builds up my self-esteem. It builds up my self-belief that I can do what I want to do. All right. Have you ever had a goal, you know, something you wanted to do? And then when the opportunity came, you didn't do it. And then how do you feel after that? You feel like a failure. You feel like, you know, you, you don't have no self-worth. You just feel weak. You feel um, embarrassed. You feel like you, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel, you know, real. You don't feel like you're really that guy. And it's because, you know, your lack of ability to really, you know, dig in and get stuff done. So you have to have that, you know, whatever it takes type of mindset, that relentless mindset where you won't give in and you're willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals and, and be successful. All right. Embrace your strengths and weaknesses. Nobody is perfect. Nobody can be perfect. So you have to embrace what you're good at, what you're not good at. If there's something you're not good at and you know you can improve on it, then improve on it. All right. If you can't improve on it, then just don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? And understand everybody has the strengths and weaknesses. But the people that are confident, that seem confident, that um, you know, present themselves, you might even think they're perfect. It's not that they're perfect, it's that they embrace their strengths and weaknesses and they're not as insecure as most people. Okay. 
Uh, it's the next thing um, to set yourself apart from others, you know, to become that go to guy. You have to distinguish yourself from others with your skill set. So you have to be good at basketball. You have to be good. You have to, um, you know, if you're not good, you have to practice and get good. OK, you can't be that guy without having skills, without being good. Nobody's going to trust you with the ball. All right. Nobody's nobody's going to, you know, what I'm saying respect you if you're not good. So you have to develop that skill. Um you know, you know, even if you have to get really competitive, you know, look at all the players around you and and uh, make it a goal to become better than everyone. All right. It, it's not it's not a self. It's not as selfish as it sounds. It's just the way life is. If you're not good, you're not, you know, the best or at least one of the best, then you're going to be treated, you know, like average. You know what I'm saying? And being an average is not turning any heads you know what i'm saying average is everywhere you can look around and see average people everywhere you got to distinguish yourself from the rest you have to um develop a skill set that's undeniable that nobody can deny your game they have to respect you because you're just that nice all right don't let don't don't be a pushover in any way all right you know anytime somebody tries to step to you uh, make sure you handle the situation, you know, in a respectable manner. I'm not saying you need to knock somebody out and if they say something to you, whatever. But, you know, defend yourself. Don't let anybody talk down on you. Don't cower down. You know what I'm saying? Even if you have to say something and whatever, you might say something that might even, it might not come out right. Whatever. At least you said something. Don't let, don't let people, you know, try to bring you down with their words or whatever. If you're not this talkative type, then destroy them with your game. All right. Somebody says something to you, you don't like, destroy them with your game. All right. That's, that's what a lot of people do. You know, you have some people that don't talk at all. But when they get on the court, you they demand your respect because they're so good. You know what I'm saying? If you say something to them, they're going to cross you up. They're going to dunk on you. They're going to shoot in your face. You know what I'm saying? So be that type of player. You don't have to really go around talking to everybody, you know what I'm saying, always chatting all the time. But you have to have something that you do very well that demands respect, and you can do that with your skill set. Don't let anyone outdo you. You see somebody playing better than you, up your game. All right. Don't sit back and relax and say, OK, it's his day. Um, you know, obviously, if you're having a bad shooting night, then start attacking the basket. All right. If you can't score, start playing better defense. Whatever you have to do, always try to, you know, elevate your game and, and draw attention. All right. Power, respect, money, whatever you want, it follows attention. So you don't want to blend in. You want to stand out. However, you have to do that. Just don't do it in a negative way. Be a leader, not a follower. I think this is, you know, just obvious. All right. Don't be a sheep. Don't be average. Don't be normal. You know, embrace who you are. Everybody's unique. They have their own unique skills, um, you know, strengths and weaknesses. Embrace that. Lead by example. You know, don't go around telling everybody what to do. Show them what to do. All right. And then once they see that you're doing your thing, you know, what I'm saying you're disciplined about it, you're professional about it, they'll start to follow. OK, if they see it getting results, if they see that's how you achieve success, they'll they'll understand and they'll do it. If they don't do it, you know, what I'm saying then you might have to go and talk to them, let, let them know. All right. Yo, you need to pick up your defense or. Yo, you see me bust, you see me, you know, going hard, you know, in the paint, you know what I'm saying? Why can't you step your game up? You know what I'm saying? Let them know um, if you feel that's necessary. But most of the time, if you're playing hard, people see you sweat, blood and tears, playing your heart out, they'll, they'll follow. All right. Don't be afraid to fail. What that means is don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to look stupid. Um, if you have to confront somebody on your team, don't be afraid to do it if it's necessary. Um, if that's not your personality, but you know it's necessary, then push through the discomfort and do what you got to do. Um, if you really take basketball serious, you have to be willing to get uncomfortable, do things that you may not be comfortable with. But if it will make the team better, do it. All right. Be a professional. That means know when to laugh and joke around and know when to get serious. All right. And, and um, you know, just be professional. Always come to play. Leave your baggage. Leave your stress. Your um problems at home when you get on the basketball court be serious and people will respect you and they'll be willing to let you be that go-to guy all right those are some tips to help you become the go-to guy on your team um if you haven't already click the link in the description below or go to verticaljumpprime.com forward slash elite secrets to get your free report that will reveal the training secrets of the basketball league thanks for watching peace